Today's creature of the day is the Dibango. It was named after Cameroonian musician Manu Dibango. It was discovered in Italy and lived during the Eocene epoch. It went extinct due to global cooling and a change in ocean currents. Dibango was unique because even as an adult, it retained traits from juvenile Dibangos. Its body had tiny thorns on it as protection from predators, and pigmentation is present on the fossils under ultraviolet light. This suggests that it was more than one single color. It was first described in 1796 by Giovanni Volta. Volta thought it bared a resemblance to the modern-day long-tailed sea moth, so he named it Pegasus, as that is the genus name of the long-tailed sea moth. However, most scientists thought it bared almost no resemblance to the long-tailed sea moth, and finally, just this year in 2025, it was renamed to the Dibango. Its full scientific name is the Dibango volans, as volans means moving swiftly, as this fish was likely fast. But speaking of this fish, it was only four inches long, about the size of a modern bluegill. Its only media appearance that I know of was in the game Jurassic World Evolution 2, but it wasn't an official creature, it was just a mod. I also found a Lego mock of this creature online. It's not available to buy, but I think there's instructions on how to make one. So, if you want to make your own Lego Dibango, look it up. Wow, a small fish that confused us for almost three centuries. You don't hear that every day. Well, like, subscribe, and comment what other creatures I should cover. See ya!